So this is this is a C, uh, the inaugural CO2 ballast blow. Oh, up she came. I wanted more drama and explosions. And I got it set to 30 psi. It works. Now you need to, you need to show us on the on the bench too. Okay. All right, Ed the Innovator is going to show us his uh, CO2, um, what would this be, upgrade, I guess? Modification for the valve system. So what, what do we got going on here? All right. By the way, it's no longer sub-ed. It's sideshow ed. <laughs> All right. Um, the golden star to who gets the reference. All right. Let's talk CO2. Okay, here's the CO2. 16 gram threaded cylinder that threads into a modified uh, 0 to 30 psi a beer keg regulator. You remove, it's a, I think, 1 8 British, that's Bravo Papa Tango British thread uh, fitting here, and I, you remove it. And then I put in just the plug, just to plug it up, because you don't need the regulator or the room that it takes. I also remove the cap. I only use the cap for slight adjustments. That, here's the exit hose, your standard clippered hose, okay, with a fitting. And that comes to this quick sealing disconnect. So I still have pressure here, mm -hmm. okay? That way, your gas system becomes modular. And 30 PSI will counteract the pressure of water down to 65 feet. So you're probably fine. You're good. The Freon you're using, you can get to about 160 feet or so before your uh, blow wouldn't be able to uh, overcome the pressure of the water, uh, the water pressure. So we're good because you don't want to be down that deep unless you specifically build your model to do that. And here is the actual CO2 regulator. I got this on Amazon for 16 bucks. These in quantity about a buck 60. It's as comparable to Propel. Mm -hmm. Okay, Freon is less expensive, but this is convenient. As you see, I did not have to charge anything. Mm. Release it, charge again. There's no waste at all. I'm ready to put this in the next. And this should be okay if, if you're in cooler temperatures to leave it attached yeah. and everything. You don't want to transport that in hot right. temperatures. It states right there, do not puncture heat. Right. That's right. simple. Above 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Which it could get in a car in Texas. In a hot car. Yeah. Okay. So... And another thing I purchased, and this wasn't that much, I forgot the exact price, but I built a little pressure regulator fitting so I can actually see the pressure. Okay, so if I put it on, I still have 30 psi in the system. There you go. Okay, what is absolutely neat about this is empty with the cylinder, it weighs. 189 grams. It's exactly, and I've measured several of them, 16 grams of CO2 in there. So at 189, it's empty. At, um, you know, 195 grams, it's a full cylinder, right? Mm -hmm. I'm doing the math right? Okay. Any number between there, you know the percentage of gas you use. There you go. Remaining. Very okay. cool. So I like, if you like convenience, and if you figure you use one a run, that's less a than the dollar, price of yeah, a exactly. Coffee. Less than the price of a coffee. So, you know, again, the choice is up to you. I like it. It's a backup system. In fact, you shouldn't be using it that much. You use right, it. yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's an emergency, well, for you, it's an emergency. But you could use that as your primary. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Like I said, this is about a, uh, 
1300 millimeter uh, milliliter ballast tank, mm -hmm. I get about seven, eight blows. Sure. That's a, that's definitely a day's worth of running. There you we go. just ran. I used it once, and I was running at a periscope depth for mm -hmm. almost an hour. Mm -hmm. so. And again, if you're using that as your as your primary, you got all kind of all the benefits of the gas system that you'll, you'll get slightly high. Yes. yes. It'll be a little harder to dive. You'll know it's time to come back in. You just what? Thirty seconds. You swap out the the swap out canister, the and you're back to go. And you're no freezing your fingers. No. <laughs> As we say in Texas, you'll rock and roll all day long. <laughs> You know, uh, very cool. Well, that's awesome, Ed. I'm liking it. I'm, I'm digging it. It's convenient. And well, for bigger boats, because that's a, a little bit yeah. bigger module. You need to allocate real estate in your in your cylinder or external because you're on that in the wet. Yes. So that's all cool. And I confirm that with the, um, the the guys who do the ship combat and fire BBs. And then, so does, does this run through like a like a clippered solenoid valve? Is no. that how you blow? In this way, I have it going to a. Um, this is a mechanical blow. Oh, I so got gotcha. you. Goes to the bottom of the Schrader valve. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You and the working pressure. Okay, this is 800 psi, but this is dialed in at 30. 30. Yep. Yep. And Bob and I, when we were first experimenting, I was worried about everything, so I sealed everything up, right, Bob? Mm -hmm. And uh, that's bad, because it needs to see the pressure differential. Um, I'm, I'm believing most of the internal components of brass so mm -hmm. over time, but when it fell, and Bob was with me, all it did was burst the hose. The hose. Yeah. This didn't explode like a bomb. Mm -hmm. It just... It, it popped on us twice, and it just, we had to clean our underwear. That was about <laughs> it. You know, I, this, this comes, you know, Bob recommended. Yeah, yeah. So. Cool. Well, thanks.